So if any of you want to follow along with your Silhouette um, Studio software, you can. Um, you can bring it up, otherwise you can use it and write some notes on it. So I'm working in number th um, Studio 3 today, only because I'm still becoming familiar with it and it, it's not too buggy for designing. I've, I've had some good success with it. So we're going to use that one. Uh, let me just see if I can get rid of this on my screen. Just let me see if I can. It doesn't look like I can minimise it. Anyway, so you're going to have to cope with the, the controls down the bottom. So anyway, we're doing grouping and compound path today. And we're going to be creating Digit and this little um, truck in the frame. These are obviously great for cards. You can use them as cards with the background layering or obviously I had in mind when I've been creating these for project life pages for our pocket system. So I'm going to open up a new page. Actually, no, I won't. I'll scroll these across to here. So I know what I'm doing and delete. Okay. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to be working on the truck one. So all I simply did was go into my um, library and I typed in the word truck and I found a object that I like. So I opened it up and obviously we're using just this one up here. So we've got to ungroup it and then I've actually got to just group that one there that out the way because that's what we're working with and then deleting everything else all right so now we've got that we've simply got to ungroup it again because what I want to do is create a welding to make this truck one object and not three or four different objects so what we're going to do is we're going to Capture that one and that one and we're going to group it together to start with and then we're going to group these two together separately. Now just to show you, if I was to go and weld these together, so by welding we need to overlap our objects. If I was to weld, look what happens everything that we we saw, the wheels with the, the donut cut out inside and also obviously the window is gone when I've welded it together. That's because I've only grouped it. I need to compound path it to create a donut effect. So we're going to just undo what we've just done and drag the objects away. So by the compound path, it's basically, it's a donut. So it creates and holds the object as one and puts the hole into the middle and keeps the hole in the middle. So let's make that one into a compound path. That one into a compound path because we want the donut. We also obviously want to keep the window that's down here in the, the middle as well. So we're going to make this a compound path. <laughs> Cindy, you are so funny. <laughs> okay, is everyone, can everyone get in to what we're doing? Everyone's seeing everything okay, I'm guessing. I'll keep going. So what we're going to do now is we're going to weld this together. So simply grouping it all together, or highlighting it all together, and press weld. And we've got our window still and our hole in the middle of our tires. So that's the difference, I guess, that you find between grouping and compound. The compound holds the middle bit, so it creates the donut shape, whereas the grouping will just wipe out anything that's inside that object and it will become one object. So to create our frame, we need to obviously go across and we need to draw a rectangle. Now I want this rectangle a specific size. So I need to go to object and scale. 
and I need to make it width of four and a height by three because that the four by three is actually a typical um, pocket, one of the typical small pockets in Project Life scrapbooking. So I'm going to apply that. You would have noticed that I'd unlocked the lock aspect because I want to actually create my own size rather than um, making it form in the, you know in the same shapes. So what I'm going to do now is I need to offset this so I get a rectangle in the middle. So I go up to my well my offset button internal offset and I need to increase my inches to create a bigger border. So we're going to go 0.25 inches. And let's have corners apply. So that creates your border. Now if I was to weld these two together, what's going to happen? Our truck is going to disappear, isn't it? Because we haven't we've only grouped these together. We haven't actually compound passed it. So let's try it and see if I'm right. Whoops. Try welding carry. As I said, the truck disappeared because we haven't compound path the outside to create our donut effect. So we need to obviously grab that box in the middle, grab the outer box and make compound path. And now when I group together and weld it, we've got our truck card. If you wanted to turn that into a print and cut, you can just go in and paint whatever you want to do um, and also obviously get rid of the lines if you wanted to show somebody your image. Alright, let's just try something else quickly. I'm actually going to go and undo all of this and I just want to show you something else while we're here. Okay, so now if I was to Compound path this again. Actually, no, I'll just group it. No, I've changed my mind again. Just go back in and get this truck again. Should have shown you this before. I'll just keep this simple and I'll get rid of those this time to make it easy and I want to compound past that one. No, I don't. I want to weld it. What am I doing, Kerry? going on oh, this is too many early actually what I'll do is I'll show you what I was going to do with that it's for the next one I can show you with the next one it'll be easier all right so what I'm going to do with my next one is I want to get grab a frame and I need to scale it six by four to create my other pocket so four I need to unlock my ratio because I don't want it Stay and apply. I'll just get this one out of the way. I'll move this rectangle across so you can see me working in it. I need to offset this rectangle so that I've got a nice border on the inside. So internal offset. Again, we'll go to about 0.25 inches, corner and apply and I'm going to create oops, I actually created a border like that didn't I for this one, so what's going to do is like that one, so 
such as that. Okay, because we're obviously up to this one now, the dig it one. And if I type in dig, I'm working with my fonts to find a good font, expand it, and that. Now, I haven't grouped anything or I haven't compound path anything. So watch what happens when I weld. Everything disappears except for the outside frame. So to keep the dig, we obviously need to compound path a few things. So we're going to remove the dig out of there. I want to keep the hole, the donut in the D. So I need to comp make a compound path. I also want to keep the hole in the frame. So I'm going to compound path that as well. Now, when I put the dig in the frame, and I weld it, the dig stays. All right, I'm gonna put the it down the bottom. And put it in there. Okay, so now I've just basic, I've just put the it on top of that. So if I cut that out in a silhouette, it'll actually, with paper, it'll actually cut out the it inside but what I want to do is I want to do a print and cut so if I was going to do a print and cut now and I went and filled it and say for example I wanted a red frame and I wanted the it in the print and cut to remain open like that and I clicked say the red now you'll notice that the it's disappeared and that's because we haven't compound path the entire object to create our donut, so the it in this case is the donut. So if I went back in and I created the whole thing, make a compound path, and now I can colour it, I simply now have my donut. Does that make sense? So after you've finished watching, if I'm going to wait by for a few minutes and answer any questions that you may have, type the questions in and then um, I'll see if I can answer them for you. <laughs> Thanks, Gail. Ah, does it finally make sense, Cindy? Okay, any other questions at all? No? All right, I'll leave you guys here. Um, if you've got any other questions, obviously I'm available on Facebook, um, on the Australian Silhouette website or under my um, Facebook business page, which is www.facebook.com slash Kerry's Crafty Cards and Cuts um, and yeah you can ask any questions there and I will see how I go in answering them. Thanks guys.